day, Friday night, party hunting, places right. No, it ain't. The place is right is a place that's right here with Cooking with Lady D. Welcome to Cooking with Lady D. Appreciate having you today. How you guys doing? Hope it's all good. Let me tell you something, honey. I remember that Friday night music, honey. And you take that whole paycheck. And now you're going to try to figure out what club you got to go to. And you know you got bills to pay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then you say, okay, well, I got paid. So, hey, I'm going to go out to eat. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Hang out here with Lady D for a little bit. And then we're going to show you how to cook right at home. The best meals ever. Today we are doing crab cakes. That good stuff. Crab cakes. Yes, yes, yes. So, like always, I like to go over my ingredients, and this is going to be basically a pretty quick meal because it doesn't take long for crab cakes to prepare. Let's go over the ingredients. For starters, I have the crab meat here, and this is about one pound. In addition to that, we have about a half a cup of flour, or three, three fourth cups of flour here. We have two eggs. We have two um, egg wash, two, just the yellow eggs, the yellow part of the eggs is in here. We have broccoli slaw. We have about a half a cup of Hellman's mayo. We have lemon juice, about two tablespoons. We have breadcrumbs, about a quarter cup. We have minced garlic, about two tablespoons. We have about a tablespoon of parsley. We have all day about two tablespoons. We have about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. We have about a tablespoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of black pepper. In addition, we have about a quarter cup of parsley, a half a cup of a, this is onion, so let's say a large onion, half of a large onion. And then we have about a quarter cup of cream cheese, okay? So now that's our... Those are our ingredients. You can go ahead and write them down. So that way you will have them. So we're not going to fool around. We're going to get started because, hey, got a lot going on right now. This is game season, okay, football season, tailgate, and a whole lot of good stuff. And where you are right now, hey, it could be Friday night, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on. And we're going to get this meal started, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do. Let me move some stuff around a bit first. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is basically put the seasonings onto the crab meat. There we go. Just going to go ahead and toss the seasonings onto the crab meat. We'll be able to get rid of these cups and clear our station up a bit. Crab meat is so good. Crab cake is so good. It is so, so good. But it's kind of expensive, too. When you out there and you're going to get yourself two crab cakes, two um, crab cakes, shoot, two crab cakes, a little bit of string beans and a potato, that's like, what, $30. When you know you can make it at home and it tastes better and you get more, so hey, why not make it at home? Now, it's so easy to do because you're just putting your ingredients right on top, okay? So, I put all of the little cup ingredients on top. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead on and whisk up my eggs. I'm going to whisk my eggs up. All righty, here we go. And I'm going to pour the eggs in. Eggs are in. We're going to fold this around. Now, when you do a crab cake, you're going to do a lot of folding. A lot of folding. Because you want the crab meat to stay as full as possible. So that way, when you're biting into it, you can, you know, you're biting into a piece of crab meat. Not just the, um... The ingredients that's holding it together. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to take this is a cream cheese. I think I called this the mayo at first, cream cheese, and this is the mayo. Okay, we're going to go ahead on and scoop this cream cheese in. Scoop that cream cheese in. And once it's 
then it's soft and clean cheese. The clean cheese should be out, it should be soft already, because this way, as you see, when it goes into the crab, it's blended easily. It's blended easily. All right. There we go. Next thing I'm going to do is take that mayo. I like Hellman's mayo. Yes, you can use whichever mayo you desire. I like Hellman's. So now we got the Hellman's mayo in there. I'm going to just rub it around first. Then I'm going to fold it over, baby. Fold it over. Here we go. Now, right now, my oven is preheated at 350. Um, when we put this in the oven, oh, yes, this is not going to be fried on the stove, baby. This is going in the oven. It's going to be a crispy, 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 straight out of the oven. You don't have to fry everything. That's for sure. Everything don't have to be fried. I don't know if I went over this here, but this is broccoli slaw. That's what this is. We don't put it inside, but I'm going to put it in the pan. As we start to cook the crab cake. All right. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I just have a really small but quarter cup of breadcrumbs. So we're going to sprinkle that over a bit and stop. I'm going to sprinkle a bit of the flour over, not all at one time, and stop. I rub it around and I fold it over because see, you may not even need all of the um, flour. You want to just watch to see the thickness. I normally just like to always have more. I'm going to put the rest of the breadcrumbs. I like to have more flour ready and available in the event I need it. Okay, so now let me just do a little more flour. And that's going to be it. So actually, we use probably about a half a cup of flour. Fold that over. There we go. There we go. Ooh, yeah. This is going to be good, baby. And guess what? She ready. We're ready. We're ready to go ahead and put it in our pan. Just like that. It doesn't take a lot. Just like that. All right. So let's go ahead on and bring the pan over. We're going to get that ready to go in the oven. See how fast this is? Okay, so now we have our pan here. The first thing I'm going to do is spray it down with a little butter spray. It don't matter what kind of spray, but some type of um, cooking spray, cooking oil. So I sprayed the pan. Next thing I'm going to do, uh oh, oh, what's going on with you? Get, you, get yourself over here and behave. <laughs> I'm going to take some EVO. And just sprinkle it. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, just sprinkle some, drizzle some, right in the pan as well. So this is probably about, okay, probably about add three tablespoons. About three tablespoons. Oh, I gotta refill this bottle. Mom been cooking. <laughs> so now, oh, how y'all let me forget the onions? <laughs> Okay, that's no big deal. Take those onions and just fold it in. Fold it in. See, I get so excited when I'm with you guys making this good food. And I forgot the onions. The reason I forgot the onions is because I took it off of my um my my um wooden prep tray here. That's okay. We got it now. So we fold those onions in. Don't forget your onions now. Unless you don't like onions. Well then that's a different story. And by all means you can always put whatever ingredients that you like in here. And what you don't like, don't put it in. Alright, so I got my scoop. And I'm scooping out the crab meat. 
So these crab cakes can be nice and hearty. I'm gonna do six. I'm gonna do six in this batch. You never wanna crowd your bowl. Reason being, you don't give the food space to spread, to breathe, to cook properly. Okay, we did good. So this 16 ounce is doing really good and it's gonna give us about six or seven. Nice size, nice size. Don't nobody want no baby size. We grown. So it's gonna give you nice size crab cakes. Put a little bit more over here because I'm almost out, out of the mix. We're almost done. So yeah, so we're gonna just go ahead and equal it all out. We're gonna have some big crab cakes here, honey. What do I want a little drop for? Give me a meal. Give me a meal. And this is such a fun food, a fun food because you can create your own dips to go along with it. All right, so now that part is ready. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next because we are gonna get it nice and crispy. Give me one moment, let me get my brush. All right, I have to get my little brush. So now for the egg wash, we're gonna take some of the egg wash and brush it on top of each crab cake and we're going to do it like this we're just brushing it on top this helps to give it that crisp yes it does and once it's halfway cooked we're going to turn these babies over and we're going to put egg wash on the other side as well this way we're going to have crispy Crab cake all the way through. See, that didn't take all day. I told you, making a crab cake is pretty easy. It's all about prepping. That's what I say. You get ready to cook anything. Go ahead and prep your station first. It makes life easier. You know, get out your ingredients. Have everything ready. Find a little space to put everything. And this way, all you got to do is just incorporate it. Put it all together. There we go. Now I'm gonna wait and put this on when it's halfway cooked. Then I'll take the cap, the um, broccoli slaw, and I'll spread it around. But not right now because this will cook up too fast. There we go. We're ready for the oven. I preheated the oven on 350. I'm gonna go ahead and raise that up to about 375. Okay, so we'll be back. It should take about 20 minutes. Hold tight. Here we go. All righty. So now they're halfway done. I'm going to go ahead and turn them over. Look at that. Oh, they are looking so good. These crab cakes are looking hearty, thick, and delicious. We're going to turn them over now. All righty. And then... I am going to take the egg wash once again. And we're just going to go ahead and brush a little bit on the other side for the crispiness. That's what this does. This makes it really crispy on the outside. These are looking good. So they've been in the oven. I had it on 375. They've been in the oven for about 25 minutes. I'm now going to raise the oven to 400. I'm going to raise it to 400 degrees. Before I do that, remember all our broccoli slaw mix? I added a few more carrots. I'm just going to add just a little bit of, I'm just going to add a little bit of adoba in here, probably about a teaspoon. There you go. About a teaspoon of adobo goes in there. Gonna stir that around just a little bit. Stir it around just a little bit. Nothing big. 
And on the back side of this, I'm going to just lay it out. I'm going to lay it out on the back side. This is looking so good. Smells good. Just put a little bit, the rest of it down in the middle. And once again, I raised the oven to about 400 degrees. And, you know, everybody's stove is different. So my stove at 400 degrees is going to give a real good heating. It's going to get pretty hot. So some folks may need to put theirs on 425 or so. All right. So now this is going to go back in the oven. We're going to try about 15 minutes. And then we're going to take it out and we should be about ready. All righty. It's ready. It's ready. So when I put it back in a second time, I have to watch it carefully. When you put it back in the second time, again, depending on your oven, because you don't want it to dry out. So I said I was going to leave it in there for about 15 minutes and I took it out after about 12 minutes and it's ready. So at this point, we're going to go ahead on, we're going to plate it. So just stay with me. All right. There she is. She's ready. She's plated. Wow. These crab cakes came out beautifully. Beautifully. They're nice and moist on the inside, a bit crisp on the outside. They're well seasoned. They're not dry at all. Yes, they came out absolutely perfect. You know, too often folks think, well, I better fry it because if I don't fry it, it's going to be dry. No, it doesn't have to be dry. It depends on how you prepare it. And when you prepare it with certain ingredients, it will keep it nice and creamy and moist or however you like it. So this came out awesome. I have um, tartar sauce here and a couple of sliced apples on the side. So now it's time for us to go ahead on and taste it. I have a little one right here. A little one for me. <laughs> you know, I'm always laughing before I taste this food because I know it's going to be so good. All right. So we go inside. Mm hmm. Good gracious. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me see. It's so good. I want to cry. It is so good. I don't even need any tartar sauce or any other sauces on here. It is so good. And I have the broccoli slaw with extra carrots. Oh, man. It is so good. Y'all getting ready to make me stay here and eat this whole little thing with you. Mmm. It's savory. It's delicious. It's delicious. It is absolutely delicious. It's a nice size because we grown. We don't need no little tidbits of nothing. Listen, you got to go ahead on. Make yourself some crab cakes. Bake them in the oven. It is so good. We got football season, tailgating, all kinds of sports, basketball. Figure out what you're going to do. If you have company over, you have gatherings, or even just on a Friday evening, Saturday evening, when you want something just for you. That's what I do, just for me. Make yourself some crab cakes. God is good. <clears throat> so, I'm getting ready to say bye in a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Let me get one more little bite. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Listen. Mm. Follow me. Continue to follow me here. Continue to follow me on Facebook. Invite your friends. Invite all of your Facebook friends to join our group. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead on over to Google. Type in Cooking with Lady D. My YouTube link will pop up. Click on it. Hit subscribe and like my videos. Mm, I can hardly think. I can hardly think. 
it's so good. I'm trying to get it together. Listen, y'all know what I'm having for dinner today. That's right. You guys be good. Until next time, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Take care. We'll chat.